Um, yeah, I'm, I'm like 99% sure. Uh, oops, here, I'm going back up here. That um, little Frank ears went out today. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty sure about that. And I'm doing good today. Thanks for asking, Zena. Eating steak sloppy. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Oh my gosh, it could rain 10 days straight, but it can't rain. We don't want it to rain for Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, oh my gosh, this first rain and probably really, I don't know, seven weeks, other than a couple of spits here and there. It's wonderful. Yeah, do we have a category? And yes, I'm getting so super excited. I got, see my arm? All those things I got written on there, those are things I got to do yet tonight. <laughs> my mom says today, you are going to get ink poisoning. I said, oh, mom, you've been telling me that since I've been in first grade. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I'm glad the cook, I'm glad things are arriving. There should be people getting more things tomorrow yet. Do we have a can of Terry? I the cutter. Can't find the cutter, Jackie. Can't find the cutter? No. No. Oh my gosh. Um, I know where. Out, I know where one is. I was gonna say if you took it in. Yeah. Let me grab it. Girl Scout. Okay, so now I gotta catch up here. Whoops, that's my cookies. Oh, those bubbles. Cool, gosh, I'm glad you got it too. Mm hmm. Okay, do we have a category? Somebody better step up. <laughs> I think, I know, I am so sorry. Jack Cat's going to come here and shake her finger at me. Losing the cutters. And I really, I think there's a, I think there's a cutter monster here somewhere. I know where one more is. Yeah, don't tell her that we are, that I've missed I, you know what? I, I really don't know. I think Octavia did it. <laughs> she had to. She had to be here somewhere. What is that? That's not... Oh, is that? Were you eating the cookies, Jackie? Sizzler is doing. Yeah, I dropped my cookies. <laughs> yeah, just eat it. I will. Eat it with the cat hair and everything. I will. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm scrolling down here seeing if we have a cataterry. Or nobody, is that. Nobody. Uh, Come on, kids. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, there's the confirmation. Little Frank, whoops, I dropped my cookies again. <laughs> Little Frank is catatory, is that right? Okay, thank you. Okay, let's do it. You ready, Little Frank? I am. Ooh. Oh, did you look in there? No. Is there something really I didn't good? look. I didn't look. We have to save the best that one for last. You think? Yeah. You know, for the, um, for the, for, for cat, the catathon, um, yeah, you know, you know that thing we're having Sunday? <laughs> we're having Sunday. <laughs> 5.15, we're going to have a big pizza party. <laughs> we're all going to be passed out at 5.15. And, um, there's now, you guys, it's all, it's all paid for. It's awesome. Um, 20 large pizzas and um, 50 chicken wings and the tip is covered. So oh it's God, really cool. Look at that. This, 
um, there's like six of them now. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. So cool. Cool, cool. Oh, this probably does not go uh -oh. back in here. Is Jack Cat on? Don't tell her. I, we can find them, Jack Cat. I know they're here somewhere. I just have to find them. Okay, let's back up. I think I have one in my in my drawer too, but I do use that there. This is from. Um. Well, let's see what's in these. See if there's a note because I'm not sure. Really. Oh, here's one for t-shirts. This is from um from D. Delee. This is yeah, this is from Delee. This is is um see now who was that other one? Oh I can't think of who it was, but this was this was an order that was all mixed up. Um it was sent. Yeah, this is definitely from Delee. And Delee placed this order because some of the oldsters do like this uh, cat shore. And somehow or another, this order got sent to one of the other camp, or no, the confirmation of the order, I guess, got sent to one of the other um, cameras. One of the other cameras. Isn't that weird? So gradually, yesterday, we were all playing detective. The three of us kind of bounced some things back and forth. It was it was figured out that yes, this is from Delee. Don't know how it got sent to the other camera. That was weird. Weird. But the bottom line is we got it. Just while I'm opening these, I'm going to give you a heads up of what's going to happen. Um, our wonderful dear Sumer is going to go for a visit. <laughs> She's going to go with a friend of mine. Sumer. See what she's doing right there? You know, she was in heat, and we had to cancel her surgery, her space, because we had to get in. Um, when did she come in? She's been in for weeks. Sumer? Yeah. I don't even remember her. Uh-huh. She's the one that's been in heat. That's been driving everybody Aww. crazy. Poor thing. But um, anyhow, we at first it was thought that she was already spayed and I mean the vet and I both thought that and then of course after we had our surgery day she goes into ripper warm heat like uh oh no she wasn't spayed and then I had an appointment and she had to give up that appointment to make surgery space for Mariska um, is this it is to me yep oh you already know that yep. and I hope our little Frank had that written down so, so we don't need this box. Nope. So, um, Sumer is consumed. You just can't so much take her to that tomorrow. No, we have to. We, our, her surgery appointment isn't for a little while. It's not till next week. Why don't we just move her out? They don't have room. Oh, they don't have room. But what happened today was uh, the door over down there. Uh, didn't latch and I just talked to Paul about that today we got to fix that so it 100% latches every time um, but it didn't latch and she got out this morning early when he fell was here oh it oh I'm sorry I thought I said I'm sorry it's six cans of the cat shore I'm sorry instead of inshore it's cat shore and this is good stuff Maynard the cats love the the oldsters love that oh um, that goes over there, like where the um, KMR goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The cats like that. The oldsters like that. So anyhow, Sumer got out. And it's like, what if she would have gotten pregnant? You know, and somebody says, well, where did she get pregnant at? At the rescue center? How could that be? I was, I would have been, it would have been awful. But she didn't. We caught her. And she is completely obsessed with the door. She's scratching up. She, I've never seen a cat go quite like what she is. Um, she's not happy in the pen. She's not happy with anybody. And I'm so worried that during the catathon, um, it's going to be too stressful for her. So she's going to get to go for an overnighter, fun vacation for the weekend, and then she'll be back. Um, so. If you look down under, um, oh. that's where Maggie is. She likes to take her naps there. Oh, yeah, she, well, I put, down, really I put down food for both. So. Okay, okay. How about that pen? 
that mm -hmm. one um, is, you did that one, didn't you? The one in um, Yeah, right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Did I you get your email that. from Walmart? Yes, and I sent it. Thank, Thank you very much. So this one is from our good friend Hannah, our little girl that we just love so much, and her mom Jennifer. And you know what? This is the trademark. We know without even looking that this is from Hannah. She always decorates things up for us. And oh, oh, look at this. Isn't this sweet? Hannah, if you're on, we love you to pieces. We love you, sweetie. Oh, look. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? In the back. Thanks, Anna. It says, hi, from Hannah and Jennifer. Heard you mention a need for baby food for the kitties. Hope this small donation helps. All the best always and best of luck with the cat -athon. We'll be watching and bidding. Hugs to you all and all the cats from Hannah and Jennifer. Hannah, thank you, baby. Thank you, sweetie, for helping us. And Hannah sent it uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten jars of baby food. And Hannah, we will for sure use this. We um, that could probably yeah. Okay. Oh, there. Yep. Hannah, we're gonna go ahead and put that right in the drawer. So thanks, Anna. Have your mom give you a hug for me. This one came from Petco. It just dawned on me. I never checked my emails to see who might have sent things. So let's see if it's marked on here. Um. Oh dear. I don't have who this is from, and I'm, I'm not recalling a pet call in my head here. Somebody's precious in there. <laughs> so, does anybody know who put in an order for two cases of food from Petco? It's uh, Salmon and Beef. Is this one? Salmon and Beef, a 24 pack. I hope somebody will step forward and let us know who did it. You little cutie. Which one are you? It's a boy. This one is Raymond versus Romando. And we have another pack of this salmon and beef too. So, so two packs of this. Whoever sent it, thank you. We can always, always use food. It's like it's just being vacuumed out of here. I know where it's going. It's going right out, outside through the litter boxes. That's what's happening to it. Um, but I sure would love to be able to say thank you to the person who did this. <gasps> Are you okay, Casey? Oh, oh, I thought it was speaking on that air candy. Are you alright? What happened? Oh, this is all. That's what they do to me on my desk all day long. It's just one catastrophe after the other at the desk. Today I had piles on my desk. I had I had one pile for t-shirts, one pile for like sponsors, a pile for things I had to email back and ask people about, and then um, another pile of something. And uh, my dear sweet Zelda comes bounding over and whoosh, and the papers just went like that. I told her she was heading out to go to the uh, go to the farmyard, but she didn't believe me. This is from our friend Anonymous, our anonymous friend. Oh yay. Thank you. Oh, 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 this is especially gratefully accepted. Thank you, Anonymous. We are a hundred percent out of the Fancy Feast Kitty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Now we are not out. There's one, two, three, four cases of kitty. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Anonymous. This is so much, so much appreciated. Yeah, I, I just so much appreciate that. Yeah. You know, I think... Okay, Red. Um, we're all the way out of this in here, so maybe one of those whole cases could fit right oh, here. Oh, yeah, for sure. That, that's it. Yeah. And then the other cases you want back on the table? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Anonymous friend. I appreciate that. Okay.
few of each, or you want me just to just put that? Oh, you can just use one. Yeah. Are you back for more? Are you back for more? This one is from Jeanette. Jeanette C. Jeanette C. And it looks like she's from um, Illinois. Are you okay? You got to be careful there, buddy. Just be careful. Looks like Jeanette C. is from Illinois. Jeanette, you um, thank you for your kind words. Um, thank Jeanette, thank you for your very very kind words. I get embarrassed reading some of those sometimes. I I'm I appreciate that. Um, it says here too. I often watch from afar on the cam, but in, but I'm usually at work where I am able to to watch and listen, but, uh, but unable to participate in the chat. I laugh and cry with you with my silent support. Please know that there are countless ones of us out here who feel the same. We may not be on very, every day, so the viewer numbers are likely deceptively low. We are the silent supporters. Suffice it to say that you and your team is well loved by us from for all you do for the furs. Please find inside a couple of items for the catathon. Also, please find a bag of toys. Use some for the FFRC and feel free to use some as gifts of new adoptive for parents. You are all truly a gift to the world. Thank you for sharing your heart and love with us all. Jeanette from Illinois. And um, let me show you her, her oh, kitty drawing on this too. My Isn't that cute? Very nice. And then, aww. You're right there, Shuma. This says, "My sweet and silly Clyde." Isn't that cute? Look at them all around the the little stuffed toys and the horsey. Oh, that's really a cool picture. Left is Buddy and right is Clyde. Oh, golly, those are really nice little tuxy kitties. Thank you, guys. Oh, Clyde at his finest. <laughs> Boy, that's a that's a great uh, pose there. And check this one out, my sweet buddy, the old man. Look at that tongue. Uh, thank you, Jeanette, for sharing these with us. It's really nice that I get to see you guys as kitty pictures. All right, Sarah. Hey, maybe somebody wants to adopt our Sarah. Are you thinking you're ready to go? She says, no way, no way. I feel a seizure coming up. You're faking me out, aren't you, girl? Why don't you go down there? And these are the balls. These are cool. Did you make these, Jeanette? Look at that. Did, I bet you you made these. So like a little whiffle type ball with a little jingle in there. And each of them have a feather glued in. Oh my gosh, these are cute. These would be great in our adoption base. Yeah. Oh, and cat stuff. Catstuffohio.com. Well, come on, Badu. How's my little cat stuff? Badu can be up here, too. I wonder if Badu smells this catnip already. Yep. Oh, it's good catnip. Thank you. Jeanette, I think we we will use these for the adoption base. These would be cool, but we have to use a couple of them tonight. There you go. The kitties, the kitties will love those. Oh boy, Badu's on a mission. We go in the. Do the dogs need out? They, they do. We can go in the kitty toys. Okay. Bella's claimed her, she loves that scratching pad down there. 
Oh, that's a cool box. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, this is awesome. Check this out. Let me see if I can get my leg up here. Look at that. Can you see that? Look at that. There's four mugs, four matching plates, and the silver, four forks and four spoons. This is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jeanette. This is really cool. This will be a cool addition. Man, there's four plates in there. This is really neat. I like that. There goes Badu with that new uh, catnip toy. Yeah, the ping pong balls always are fun. They give a good uh, in the bathtub. That's, I haven't done that for a while. Yeah. So thank you. This is really awesome. Thank you for this. This would be a good addition, too. Oh, and I wanted to tell you. Wait, let me, let me finish with this, and then I want to show you our Crescent News, which is our, our, our newspaper. Uh, we're on the front page. The rescue center is on the front page. And last but not least are the boxes. we got to bring it over here because I know this is going to smell really good. This is from Billy K. B-I-L-L-I-E. Billy K. These are the fastest cookies ever. Look at this. We're going to eat these all up from now to the weekend because uh, we have tons of people coming in work on Ladybugs. These are, this is from Cheryl and Company. Billy, thank you for this. This will be well, every one of these will be gobbled up. This chocolate chip. This goes along with that um, Cheryl basket that we got last night. That's so good and it's already being gotten into. It's, um, there was cookies and some cupcake things and some bread things in that one. Yeah, these guys, this company makes good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you so much, Billy. Yep, we'll, we will make quick work of this this weekend while we're working hard. Okay, Kitty, let's go over there. Right. <laughs> I'll have to watch Fabio. Or not Fabio, but... Um, yeah, yeah, whoever that cat is. Okay, we've got some envelopes here. Can I use that? This is from Joyce D. from California. Joyce D. from California. I know I love cookies. Oh, this looks like Snowball. We're boarding Snowball, who is one of our volunteers' kitties. We got to look alike just like that. Says, due to circumstances beyond our control, there will be no birthday cake this year. Couldn't resist the card. Maybe someone there has a birthday, and this could be for them. Check included for two shirts, blue if available, and three calendars. Thanks again for doing a wonderful job. And this is from Joyce. So Joyce, your your check has been received. You know what might help us too, if everybody, those that are paying for things by check, and you haven't um, mailed it out yet, maybe put on there um, something like per email. That would that would help me to know that I have to match it up with an email. That might be kind of nice. Oh, this is from our friend Colleen P. And I know she's from California. I remember that one. Colleen, thank you. Oh, bunches of coupons. This in our little extra coupon thing is empty, so I'll put that in there for Diane. Thanks, Colleen. Yeah. What are you doing there, dude? I'm not a dude, I'm a dude at. Uh, this is from Joanne P. from Florida. I think what we're, it's going to happen is we're going to start getting yeah things for the catathon. Um, this is great. Uh, this is to pay, uh, Joanne P. So this is just to let you know that um, we did get your sponsorship. And she says, if you don't mind, I would like to sponsor whatever cat gets the least sponsorship. If there is a tie, choose choose the oldest of the tie. Joanne, thank you. We'll do that. And this is her first first catathon. 
It's only my second, so you're not very far behind me. Can I have that by you? Can I keep these together? Um, Vinny T from Cleveland, Ohio. From Ohio. All right. And this is for a t-shirt. Uh, and he drew the logo on here. That's cool. Um, Vinny, thank you. We got so we have your t-shirt order. I appreciate that. I checked on the those t-shirts. They should be coming pretty soon. And actually, what I did already. This is unbelievable. I've never had to do this. The first order was 200, and the second one was I put in 250 more t-shirts. And the and I put in the third order the other night. It was only like for 50, but it's like I've never ordered that many t-shirts before. These okay. are from Linda. Or, I'm sorry, these are from Judy. Judy M. And Judy's the one that is has hoped, well, she's done it all. The stationery for the catathon. And I think this is going to be, which I thought was really, really sweet of Judy. Let's see. Yeah. This is Emmeline. Because when she started this, these are the part of the pictures for the um, FFRC fix note cards for the catathon. Emmeline was not a, uh, a resident, so she. Yeah, we've got we've got two sets of them here. So isn't that nice? Yeah, that's really nice. Rose or uh, Judy, thank you for doing this, and we'll get these included in all those sets here. So I appreciate that. Okay, so let me see here. Um, come down. Come on. Yeah, come down. Is she, is, do you need help? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, she can go around them. Oh, she's just going to hang there. I think. Let me get the newspaper. So this is our Crescent News, is our local paper, and front page, we're right here, and it's a color picture, I don't know if you can see it or not, oops, oops, there we go, can you see it, it's got, it, we're out, Judy S. and I are sitting out in, Where, what paper was that? Today, oh, now we're sitting out in Kitty Castle on the couch with what is that, four or five of the baskets? Oh, and here's that really cool uh, art cat right there that's up for the big ticket item. And it's called, it's a catathon. Friends of Felines Rescue Center will hold annual events on Sunday. And so there's a caption under the picture. There's an article there. And then it's all of this also. So they did a really nice job for us. Yeah. And uh, I didn't even ask them. They called us up and wanted to do that for us. So I thought that was pretty free. Uh-huh. You can find the paper. It's uh, online. It's the Crescent News. Um, you know what? You have to be, you have to be a, a subscriber. subscriber. Yeah, yeah. I can read it real fast if you really want me to. Where is that? Oh. Boring. Did you order these or did they? No, um, Judy. Judy M did to go with those other ones. Should we that put them all back in this? Mm -hmm. Put them back in here. Yeah, and then I have to add them. Okay, I'll read and I'll read fast so it won't take up too much of your time. It says, it's a catathon. Friends of Felines Rescue Center will hold going on at the Friends of Felines Rescue Center. I'll set you off, but I'm going to set you off. Um, at the rescue center, as they prepare for the second annual catathon, 
except for this Sunday. Volunteers and others at the center have been preparing baskets with dozens of donated items to be auctioned off. The center is located in rural defiance along the Power Dam Road. There are 42 baskets for people to bid on in the catathon. This is an online telethon and people can call in their bids on the baskets or other auction items by calling 419-393-2400 from 1 to 4.30 p.m. on Sunday. A sale table will be covered with items for interested buyers. There are 36 big ticket items up for bid and a, and a table sale with new things in the front, front yard of the rescue center. A bake sale will also be held. Um, Jackie Moss, who is in charge of the rescue center, said, "All this is for you guys. All of the items in the baskets are 100% donated by webcam viewers. Viewers can watch all the excitement 24/7 on the webcam, and they give the um, the webcam link there. Since its inception, the webcam has had three over three million hits." Moss said everyone has been preparing for the catathon for about two months. They have been busy sorting things oops, you okay? Sorting things through the many items donated by viewers and sent to the rescue center and through those items that have been brought in locally. Uh, and then she talked about a woman that came in while she was here that brought in a, her um, donation for the rescue center. A woman came this week to the rescue center with donations of cat food, cat toys, Lysol, paper plates, volunteer treats, laundry soap, and vinegar. Um, monetary donations have been have arrived from New York, the United Kingdom, Nevada, Illinois, Pennsylvania, and Denmark, along with baskets for the cats, three watercolor paintings of cats at the rescue from a viewer, t-shirts, cookbooks, and phones for the cat at the more. At the rescue center, tents and porta potties are being set up. We ex Ma said she expects to have a few hundred people show up at the rescue center, but there will be many thousands of people who come online all day to visit to view the auction items and bid. The rescue center just received some good news that they have won $5,000 being offered by the animal rescue site in a voting contest. The voting went on daily for 10 weeks. We have to thank our defiance friends and viewers and others who push that vote button every day for us. This is a huge thing for us to win these funds. And then the Pet Finders Adoption Organization also worked with the Animal Rescue Site in offering this award. So I thought that was pretty good. Yeah, you guys rock all right. Turn it back. Okay, oh, I see it. I see it. I'm good. I got it. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's the second or third article that they've done on us where they mentioned the webcam viewers. Okay, I. Well, just to kind of give you a quick update, um, the new guy, uh, which one should we start with? Um, Zizzle, Zizzle, Sizzle yeah. is doing really good. Right here. Is it sleeping on the, mm, I got cat hair in my mouth, imagine that. <laughs> it's sleeping on the turbo track. Um, he, likes baby food. he likes baby food and he's doing really good. He's doing really good. He's making friends. Um, the other new one, who's another new one? Um, my brain is tired. Bravo. Bravo is doing awesome. I'm very anxious to talk to the vets about him later. You know, the odd thing about Bravo, yeah, Brett, Bravo for Bravo. The odd thing about Bravo is, um, he has never played with kitties before, before he came here. He had never all he had been around was his mommy. Which we, we do sir we do MPO oh, yeah. or nothing to eat by mouth from midnight on, Bella. That's how we do it here. Well, actually that's what we always recommended for all the thousands of surgeries that we've done for the public here because the kitties here are so small. I usually feed, you know, at four thirty and then I pick up all the food. And their surgeries are later in the morning. But by rights, you should do it from midnight on. Um, 
Yeah, so Bravo, Bravo's doing good. Oh, the thing about Bravo, she, he had never had the opportunity to play before, and he is a toy ball boy. He loves the toys. He loves to play with them. And I mentioned this yesterday, but in case some of you didn't hear it, it was kind of funny. It was, it's kind of funny, but it's a little sad, too. He's a toy collector. His one leg, you know, comes clear up here by his ear, and then the other one, if it's not folded funny back here, it's up here like this under his belly. And so when he's scooting, the toys collect in here. And the, yesterday when I picked him up, he had three toys on his tummy that he just kind of draws along with them. But today he's been, um, when he goes up to like a little bed on the floor, he can take his, his hip muscles are strong. He can take his hips and he can fling those two legs up and over so he can get into things. And like the, even the short litter boxes, he can he can just flip those things up. They don't cooperate very well, but he's he's strong there. Um, and so, so Bravo Frogger, of course, is doing good. Mariska is doing awesome. Saturday, we need to take her sutures out, and um, we're just she's just doing awesome too. Is she sleeping? She's okay. She was just eating. And then she crawled and took a nappy. Yeah, into that little, um, what's called that, like a Santa hat, whatever that little oh, red yeah. Santa yeah. hat. Oh, yeah, I see her. I see her. Yeah. So everybody's doing good. And um, Emmeline is also doing better. Her her uh, redness is kind of starting to ease off a little. What are we running low on? Thank you for asking. Thank you, Queen. We. Well, actually, we've been out for a few days of the kitty fancy feast, but as you know, we did get four cases tonight, but that, of course, isn't going to last really long. Um, Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes were also low on, and bounce, bounce, the laundry softener little sheets were, were really low on those, too. Um, I think toilet paper were pretty good. We're pretty good on the toilet paper, yeah, and the paper towels were pretty good on yet, too. Yeah, food, we're going through food, friskies, we're, we're, we're pretty good on adult fancy feast right now, friskies we're low on. You need to remember Brother Cat on, yeah, because we're going to stock those porta pots with, yeah, and we're gonna, we've got flowers that we're going to put on the porta pots too. Um, posty stamps, I always flowers. can use. Yeah, <laughs> flowers we're going to make them pretty, we're going to oh make them pretty, uh-huh. Is the new litter working out? The new litter... Um, we, we do any kind of bounce. We even do the scented. We're just happy to have it. Thank you. Thank you, Bubba. Um, the litter we're using down in Kitty, no, we're not, in Cat's Cove, and it's working out good there. Um, I've, I've, I've been talking to a lot of the volunteers about that new litter, and I know you guys, some of you guys have used it, too. Weber's doing much better. I don't think he's had a single time out today. I think he's doing real good. Um, the That new litter, it's awesome, and we're so grateful for it because it will save us uh, litter for a long time down there on Cat's Cove. It's, it's a not quite as clumping hard as what we might need in here, you know, but our litter boxes are not normal litter boxes. You know, we may have... 20 kitties going in there to go potty before, and we scoop like what six, seven times a day or more. And so it kind of breaks down a little bit when they step on it, it opens up. So, we're I think we're going to keep to the tidy cat and the um, well, any of those those ones that we use here, but we are definitely using um, isn't that cool? We're definitely using the um, thousand or world's best litter. Oh we'll be using it in Kitty Kitty City oh and Cats Cove, and we use a lot of it down there. Those cats use a lot, so um, we're just tickled to death to have it there. That will save us a lot of money. I saw those. I saw those. So I'm gonna take off so I can uh, get the playground set up and get my list here done. We, we've tried that dark cat, and some of the volunteers have tried it in their homes, too. It does help. Yes, that is true, too, wildfire. Except here, we have a whole bunch of it. That Yeah, it's, it's clumping, but it's a little bit softer clumper. 
it's just a little bit softer. Uh, some of the volunteers love it, and because um, we did share it with everybody, we gave all the volunteers a few baits to try. Oh, there is no doubt it will all get used. It will all get used. See, out there in Kitty Castle and Cat's Cove, oh, not Kitty Castle, out there in Kitty City and Cat's Cove, our litter boxes are the pools. They're huge, huge litter boxes, and they take a huge amount of litter to keep them up. We keep them fairly deep in there. And there are 17 cats in there and three pools. So that litter does go down very quickly. And we've already used countless bags in there. So we're, we're grateful. We're so grateful for that litter. Yeah. It's nice. Oh, for the winter driveway? Yes! Instead of the salt. And today, we, with this rain that we got, which we were all thrilled to get, we actually got rain. It wasn't that long, but it was real rain. Um, it worked. We, I went out and watched it, and the rain drained to the middle and went to the catch basins, and it was just gushing out of there. And um, I know, I know, Maddie, I, I really want to get to bed early tonight. Um, and it was draining away from Kitty City. So that was what it was all for. Oh, my gosh. Awesome, awesome. So yay for the driveway. Yay for Kitty City. So thanks, everybody. I'm going to get this stuff settled and taken care of. And um, I so deeply appreciate everything and for the goodies that we've got to share this for this weekend, too. And remember, we have those... Um, niches that we're going to share out today, or this weekend too, we're going to bake and eat them all up. Okay, I'm going to try to get some of my emails caught up tonight. Thank you everybody for caring and for being a part of what we do, and thank you for your excitement for the Catathon too. I'm, I'm super excited and uh, just, just really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thanks. Uh, what's with the Canadian Jews?